so good morning everybody i welcome all of you for today's session by dr usha raghavan so uh, we are going to discuss various schemes by mois uh, innovation cell so first of all let me introduce dr mrs usha raghavan her vision is to create a culture of innovation that will help students identify problems and provide solutions as she leads to train students to think learn and implement practically uh, talking about her teaching career she has taught diploma engineering students for last 33 years she has taught subjects like computer hardware and maintenance data communication and networking linear integrated circuits digital electronics communication techniques and basic electronics presently she is working as the head of information technology department at vpms polytechnic thane uh, her educational background uh, she has completed her phd in nanotechnology from university of pune in the year 2012 the title of her research thesis is evaluation of optoelectronic properties of semiconductor nanomaterials she has received some awards work like uh, recently she has received global edutech leadership award 2022 in organizing a number of conferences and workshops in her institute in polytechnic thane i'm talking about her work related with uh, institutions innovation council at european polytechnic as uh, she has played a crucial role to initiate the institute innovation council Uh, with her efforts uh, iic is successfully working at vpm polytechnic uh, so she is the president of iic at vpm polytechnic and she has been instrumental in organizing various activities related to entrepreneurship innovation culture patenting and startups uh, she has also received a grant in and aid from ministry of education's innovation council under the mentor mnt scheme and polytechnic is main hayu institutes under her guidance so i welcome uh, wholeheartedly dr usha raghavan and now i request our director dr kirti agashe to deliver welcome speech thank you it's over to madam yes sir thank you divesh sir uh, very good morning to all of you and uh, good morning to dr usha raghavan uh who is my friend also uh, we have working uh, in vpm subject for last 33 years so it's my pleasure to welcome her and uh, i'm sure that uh today's her presentation will be uh, giving a proper guideline for the activities of iic at uh, maharshi parshuram college of engineering vilneshwar and uh, so today uh, we have asked all the faculty members to attend the session because this iic work is not uh, only for the individual or for the hods or for the principal and director but every aspect of it should be known to everybody and every uh, teacher and staff member is really a foundation stone for all this activity so uh, i welcome uh, dr usha uh, we have just uh, uh, heard about her a uh, very dynamic personality very enthusiastic popular in students and also in all our friends so uh, usha madam uh, warm welcome to you and uh, i'm uh, really thankful because you accepted our invitation immediately and uh, within a very short notice uh, we could arrange this session so welcome to this platform and i request you to start the session thank you uh, thank you so much uh, ganesh dive sir for your kind information and uh, agarshe madam thank you so much for your uh, welcome address uh, i feel really fortunate to be addressing all of you on this uh, occasion uh, innovation in institute innovation council is my passion so i will be always ready to um, uh, contribute in that direction and uh, uh, and i congratulate uh, dr kirti agashe on her uh, new position in uh, our own sister institute of uh, velneshwar 
and uh, i really feel proud that you have uh, upgraded yourself and we have worked together for last 33 years and um, hearty congratulations madam and thank you for inviting me thank you uh, so uh, without losing much of our uh, focus on today's topic let me first uh, share one uh, uh, powerpoint which i have uh, specifically uh, created for you as uh, dr agashi madam said uh, this institution innovation council is not a one man's job it always starts with one man but then you require a team which will work with a focus that every thing that we do in our institute it should be in a direction to promote innovation to promote uh, the uh, creativity of the student so that uh, they progress and uh, some startups can be seen from our own institutes so let me uh, take a, a couple of minutes to just share my screen uh i hope you are able to see my screen yeah so as the topic given by uh, ganesh uh, dive sir uh, i am just going to describe uh, or discuss the various themes of mic and how we are going to actually uh, uh, approach towards uh, all these portals uh, one best part that uh, aict ministry of education has done is all these activities that we are doing under uh, the minist uh, ministry of education innovation cell are all online uh, that is uh, the portal is almost self explanatory you have to only do some amount of uh, data mining to understand what all we have to do it takes quite some time for that but uh, once you understand the process is quite simple uh i i know that uh, ganesh dive sir has been in touch with me for last one year and uh, many a times we have discussed about the various programs and uh, what can be done uh, to uh, actually uh, keep this cell uh, active and vibrant uh, so today i am going to discuss the various schemes of mic uh, so uh, ministry of en uh, education government of india has established a innovation council at aict with the purpose of systematically fostering the culture of innovation in higher educational institutes across the country so this was started in the year 2018 uh, november month and uh, all higher education institutes in um, representatives were called at aict uh, uh, head office in new delhi and at that time the uh, mhrd minister union minister uh, prakash javdekar was the um, uh, union minister at that point of time and he addressed all the representatives from various edu higher education institutes and he introduced the innovation council and in that uh, the honorable minister had very uh, has had been very poignant and had conveyed uh, that all the higher education institutes need to focus on innovation and in that year of 2018 the innovation index of india was in three digits that means among the various countries maybe 150 countries in the world we were somewhere around hundreds uh, in our innovation index and it was found that after a survey and research it was found that only if innovation culture startup culture is introduced in uh, higher educational institutes and schools then this innovation index of the country can be improved and therefore they instituted and they promoted all the higher education institutes to start a innovation institute innovation council and uh, in the month of december itself we started uh, in our polytechnic the institution innovation council so the goal of mic is to encourage and channelize the creative energy and the entrepreneurial potential of the indian youth 
to build innovations and enterprises. So in this context, what are all the various uh, initiatives of MIC? So they have <clears throat> what is called as a uh, IIC, that is Institution Innovation Council. And then we have the Smart India Hackathon, SIH, and also the International Hackathon. We have the National Innovation Startup Policy, NISP. Then you have Yukti 2.0. <clears throat> Of course, Yukti does not exist now. It is a part of IIC itself. But initially, when they started, there was Yukti 2.0 also. Excuse me, uh, Usha. Yeah. Uh, are, you, uh, this, uh, are you going on the next slide? Because No, no. Are... It is the same slide. Uh, Ministry of Education, Innovation Council, you are able okay. to see? You are able to see that? Uh, yeah. No, uh, no. The, it is only the introductory, your name. No, no, uh, no. I have crossed, actually. I will just see. Huh. Huh. No, it's this, uh, yes. uh, should I keep it in this mode only then? I think uh, in the presentation mode it is not moving. Okay, then that's fine. Now we are able to... Yeah, yeah I was on this uh, slide. Okay. Uh, so, innovate, initiate, uh, what are all the initiatives of MIC I was just discussing? We have the Institution Innovation Council the Smart India Hackathon and the International Hackathon, which is there for the last five years. And uh, just to mention here, the year it was initiated, we had presented some students for this hackathon and our students got selected in the first round. And then subsequently, every year we have been conducting an internal hackathon and trying to send students. And this year, our students have got selected in the grand finale. So this is how the percolation happens among students. So once we introduce this to the students, it slowly goes from one batch to the other batch and we also get experience. So this year, we have one batch of students whose projects uh, in the hackathon has been selected and they are going to Aurangabad on 25th. Then another wing of MIC is the National Innovation Startup Policy. Then we have the Yukti 2.0. This Yukti 2.0 was introduced in the year of 2019. But however, now it is part of IIC itself. So when we see the login of IIC, I will just mention about Yukti also. Then we have the Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievements. So again, this is another wing of IIC. So when IIC got, that is MIC got introduced, it just started only with IIC. Then slowly each one of these activities got added and now it is having five different wings. Now I'm sure uh, Dewey sir, you are knowing uh, the portal of IIC and uh, how you have to see what all activities are to be conducted in the this thing uh, during the semesters. So a semester is divided into two quarters, quarter one, quarter two, and semester two is divided into quarter three and quarter four. In the portal, they are already giving uh, what are all the activity that can be con uh, can, uh, that can be conducted. What is the activity guideline? that is also given and where from you can get some resources on this. So we have to have a very good planning of each quarter activity right in the beginning of the year. The reason I am telling you this is the year always starts in the month of September in the IIC calendar. Whereas our engineering programs we start in the month of June. So when students come to the next year in the month of June, we are still with the old year's calendar of um, the previous year itself. But that's fine. That is no uh, issue at all. We have to have calendar from September to August in this case of IIC. So your first quarter is September, October, November. Second quarter, December, January, February. March, April, May is the third quarter and June, July, August. The reason it is kept like that is that because we have certain examination schedules also in between. 
so adjusting all this and different universities across the country work at different uh, time spans and also there are autonomous institutes there are institutes or uh, centers of excellence each one has a different scheme but the mic recommends that you set your own calendar according to your schedule given by the university or the board so in that context their calendar is from september to august we have to adjust our calendar accordingly so now when you are starting iic 5.0 next year you see to it that all your program and plan is already set only sessions are not the only things like conducting webinars or calling an expert they are not the only ways we ourselves can have certain expertise develop that expertise because we are all engineers so we do have certain expertise in these areas and ministry of education is providing certain material also for you to develop this expertise Uh, so uh, set your calendar right in the beginning like what are all the activities you are going to do there are uh, certain iic calendar activities there are certain mic calendar activities there are certain self driven activities and also there are certain celebration activities uh, we do celebrate the national technology day national environment day national science day national pollution control day and all those things those things you can keep one program for one month you need not be specific about a day but you can always set uh, suppose there are 12 months out of 12 months let us say you are having 8 uh, to 9 months where students are available in those 8 9 months one uh celebration day per month can be easily organized wherein the students are only supposed to do we are only supposed to monitor and delegate work to the students and if there is some competition or something like that we have to provide judgment of those uh, competitions and provide certificates also so you plan your activity that is the primary thing i would like to say so similarly for quarter 1 quarter 2 uh, activities are given in the portal itself you can look into it then how to get into the portal you have a institute login you have a uh, already a registered email id and a password and always uh, there is a captcha uh, saying it is not a robo and then you can log in once you log in uh, you have the my profile wherein your previous years uh, certificates uh, if you want to reset your password or you have uh, what is your performance in the previous years all these can be seen in the website and then on the left hand side you can see that there are number of uh, menu available this is my profile then you have my council in my, my council you have internal members you have external members you can uh, have student members you can uh, set your calendar semester and also you can uh, and unless you are uh, my council is complete you cannot upload any activity in the iic portal so it is a mandatory thing to complete your my council so how do we do that we have to give institute details we have to add so here update button is there using this update button you can add institute details then you can add who are all the teaching and the non teaching members and they will they will have certain role you have to have different coordinators appointed see for example you can have a entrepreneurship coordinator you can have a startup coordinator you can have a ipr coordinator i hope uh, i am uh, aligned and uh, with the ppt hello yes 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 yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, so you can have a ipr uh, uh, coordinator you can have a, a startup coordinator you should have a social media coordinator 
Now, this is a very, very important role. So, uh, Divya sir, are you having social media accounts for your uh, IIC? Yes. Yeah. So, every time you are conducting any program, two to three days before the program, you are supposed to post this in the social media. The reason being, students are very, very conveniently, they use this media. And even when you, you have to tag this, uh, when you are sending uh, uh, this thing, you have to tag it to AICT, MOE, and all those officials like Dr. Abhay Jere, uh, Deepen Sahu, and then Selva Rani, uh, all these people, they are our coordinators uh, sitting in New Delhi, and you can tag them. The reason is the moment you tag, they can also send to their uh, acquaintances. And if anybody is interested in joining, they can join. Uh, as of now, they have not uh, done any uh, restrictions on online activities. Uh, you can have online sessions, webinars also conducted for the students. And at any point of time when you are conducting a program, see to it that at least minimum 50 to 60 students are participating and 7 to 8 faculty members are participating in any program. So basically we are developing this ecosystem. That means everybody in the campus thinks about innovation, thinks about intellectual property right, thinks about plagiarism, copywriting, all these which are very, very important from a uh, academic perspective for the faculty and also for the student for his future growth. So you can add teaching faculty and have coordinator responsibility to one of the each uh, faculty or they can be simply members. If somebody is new, make them member so that they understand what it is in one year and then next year you can give some responsibility. Then you can select some five to ten students from each department who will be able to coordinate these programs and also connect with the president and the social media. You can make student members in the social media so that they can do this part of the job. So minimum two to three days before the program, your poster should be ready and also it should be um, it should be sent on the Instagram page or on the Twitter uh, so that uh, even now they have included LinkedIn also. So this gives an exposure not only uh, about innovation, also your institute culture also is seen by so many people. So uh, that is regarding my co uh, council. So here you just see there is a green button. It will get activated only if you have filled that. So you have to see that all these fields are getting filled. Next is activity tab. Uh, so this is the lower portion of the institute. So you have to upload all your uh, uh, approval letters and then if you are... Uh, One second. One second now. Yeah. Uh, so you can uh, just uh, can yeah. I ask uh, one question on the previous slide, madam? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, there is one uh, uh, external member. Yes, you can add external members. Like in our college, we have added one SIDB member. We have added one member from Technology Business Incubation Center so that they all are your advisors. Okay. Okay, you can add. Uh, we have added even from our own uh, management institute because uh, they can also provide some help on marketing and other things. So like that, 
uh, whoever are the who can help us in actually continuing our uh, innovation culture we can add those external members okay uh, yes yes we, we have uh, mr dadich from jsw energy as our uh, external expert yeah exactly so actually once in a while you can call, call them also for a meeting uh, in a sense if particularly if you are taking online meeting you can ask them because their suggestions are very very valuable uh, agashya madam you must be knowing jain kulkarni sir also na yes yes he is our external member okay uh, and then there is one shridhar and from uh, sindhi because okay. these are all uh, people who can give us uh, how to go about for loans and things like that any inputs if students come to that level they will be able to give that much of input okay. to the students okay so uh, so i will not go into the details of this uh, because uh, you must be knowing how to add the teaching and non teaching staff so before you enter you have all these details in hand because every time you do, you will look for their email id then contact number and everything you try to fill this within the first 15 days of your uh, new session suppose september 1st is the new session you fill all these tabs within first 15 to 20 days so that all the data so in the meantime uh, because students are already available you can get the data from them you can can ask even students to load this uh, there is some problem one minute uh, because Dibe sir, meantime we will have to take one screenshot of all the members with all their videos. Yes, yes. I have already taken one screenshot. But uh, all uh, everybody has not uh, opened the videos. We must have taken yes. for the list of members, no? Yeah. yeah. So uh, by that time, if uh, Madam is having some problem, by that time we can uh, do that work. Yeah. Uh, I request faculty members to switch on their camera uh, so that we can have a screenshot. madam has joined not it not it hmm. yes priti madam please switch on your camera uh, dinesh you have raised your... yes i have switched on okay yes sir Uh, please switch on your camera. Have a screenshot.
it over uh, yes uh, just just a minute madam okay okay uh, pretty madam once again please pretty madam so, okay okay must have lost her internet connectivity i think okay. uh, should we contact madam again i think there is some problem at her end uh, yes madam I, i will call her okay okay Uh, Divya sir, I called her. She is joining in uh, two minutes. So there was some power issue. Yes, madam. Yes, uh, she is in touch with me on WhatsApp. Yeah, she has joined. Yeah, now. sir. Sorry, very sorry. Madam, madam, there was madam. some power issue. Uh, so I had to change my location now. Actually, power is not there in my cabin. Suddenly, <laughs> there is some uh, one face has gone. I think. Uh, so very sorry i made you wait now i'll again share my screen okay it's okay it's okay ma'am continue please yeah
uh, so we were uh, basically discussing about uh, members how to add external members so again you have to know what is the uh, where they are and then from uh, what is the role they are in their organization you have to upload their cv so you have to keep all this data ready with you uh, there is no need for keeping any thing as a hard copy that is the best part of this everything you can have it on your computer and then upload it as and when required so like this you can add your uh, external members and also um, uh, you can uh, i'm sorry then uh, you are uh, quarterly council meetings like when you want to conduct what you want to conduct see uh, first council meeting has to be in the month of september only second has to be in the month of december third you have to have it in the month of march then fourth in the month of june because then only your planning and distribution of work to various coordinators will happen so that each coordinator you don't give more than two programs in a quarter because this is not a main activity they are doing they are doing only as a, a parallel activity to so many other activities they are doing so if you are having six coordinators and each of them is having one a program in a quarter or maximum two program in a quarter you will have 12 programs in a quarter right so in that way in a year you will have about 48 programs happening in your institute which is a very very good sign right that means all these activities related to innovation are happening so the main thing is the president has a very major role to play here that is to plan all these activities well ahead of time so that all the coordinators are aware that they have to do this within this 3 months and maybe some tentative dates also can be given to them so that they can work towards that uh the uh, that then you have to declare your as i said uh, for the convening i hope you are able to hear me right yeah yes ma'am uh, yes. so uh, again you have to, as i said earlier for the convenience and based on our own uh, uh, examination of students and then class test and other things our own schedule you have to declare your semesters and what are all the durations that want to conduct the activities Uh, so th that is what it is and finally social media whatever is your uh, social media links that you are having you have to declare that and you have to declare how many male staff members how many female female staff members so all this data you should have so that your council can be completed then there are a uh, number of quarter 1 quarter 2 activities so next is the activity tab so as i said you will have a iic calendar activity mic driven activity celebration activity and self driven activity so all these activities come into my activity calendar so whenever a iic calendar activity is there in quarter 1 you can just view all the details and if you want you can add it to your calendar and if you want that this cannot be added to my calendar you can uh, you need not add it see normally they give about 7 to 8 iic calendar activities of which mandatory three activities are to be done you may do more also that is your own choice but mandatory minimum three activities in each quarter you have to do iic cal so you can choose certain activities and then it will be reflected in my activity calendar and there you have to upload the uh, all the details of that particular program you have conducted so in your my activity in your own page you will see that this particular activity you can upload the report and report is submitted that kind of input you will get and when you are submitting uh, 
the report you will also get this uh, like program theme the program theme can be a uh, intellectual property right based or a r and d and innovation entrepreneurship startup based design thinking critical thinking or it can be related to incubation and pre incubation so this is regarding the activity tab you have to have a small video of every program that you do and also uh, if you are nowadays uh, geo tagged uh, photographs are being asked if it is a offline program if it is a online program you can take some screenshots of the same program uh, whatever uh, event that you are doing wherein you will be able to show the number of participants see when you are uploading the photo upload photo where you are able to show student participation in large numbers so this is regarding the iic and in this only there is another aspect which is called as a innovation ambassador so in any institute you can have multiple innovation ambassadors so you can visit for registering as a innovation ambassador you have to go to this particular site www.iea.mic.gov.in you can just see on my uh, screenshot also the same id is here uh, are there any innovation ambassadors in your college madam uh, no madam we haven't yet registered for okay. that uh, so uh, this focus only on uh, calendar activities minimum three activities and celebration okay. activities okay uh, sir uh, what i am suggesting now uh, now is the right time to actually register so in our institute 13 members are innovation ambassadors i have uh, motivated 13 faculty members to why i will tell you because later on you may not get enough uh, expertise outside the college every time for conducting activities once you are a uh, uh, authenticated or a uh, Uh, innovation ambassador uh, given by the MIC, you can not only do it in your own college, you can do it in other colleges also. So you, uh, you, there are two levels. One is the basic level, and the other is the advanced level. We are having four faculty members who have completed advanced level, and totally thirteen ambassadors who have done the. basic level so in that context i think uh, agashe madam you motivate a number of people even the principal there can motivate number of faculty members to become innovation ambassadors now how to go about that so you should have you are having you you can go to ia login okay ia.mic.gov.in there you will have a innovation ambassador login so this is the login page i have taken my own page you will have a password and you can log into it and when you log into it what you see is this is what is the dashboard that you are seeing so they have been conducting ia training sessions in 2020 2021 2022 right in i have completed in the year 2020 itself uh, both the basic level and the advanced level so uh, now this year again in this uh, uh, in this portal you can see there is about innovation ambassador then you can add your own profile you can change password and then here you are having the ia training right when you go into ia training you just see this is the type of screen you will get so for me it is my portal right my ia login so i have seen uh, completed the uh, foundation course i have also completed the uh, advanced course so here upskilling and reskilling will come up. up they are all not introduced yet and when they are introduced we can uh, do that so once you click on foundation you will find that there are about 17 sessions a video one hour video of each session and at the end of each session you have to give one test based on that particular test session which may have about 20 questions or 10 questions mcq type and when you finish all the 17 your certi certificate will get generated here so you just see download certificate you will get your innovation ambassador a certificate 
this will give you an overall outlook and an overall overview of uh, what is innovation how to get the innovation done what are all the various steps in innovation process all this your faculty members will also get to know and you as a person also will develop uh, in this area of uh, entrepreneurship and innovation startup and other things okay so this is regarding innovation ambassador i am sure uh, you will get motivated on this and today only there will be about 5 to 6 registrations from your institute as a innovation ambassador and uh, advanced le level again it is having about 15 sessions it is actually like spending about 25 30 hours and once you spend that 25 30 hours you can listen anywhere not necessary it should be in the college only and then give the test anywhere it is your area uh, when you want to listen to that and then uh, give the test it is up to you uh, that is one question please yes uh, apart from the council members the other faculty members can also become innovation ambassador yes absolutely anybody can become an innovation ambassador that is a different portal sir okay okay and then you can include them as a member in iic because that number will keep the moment they register there no iic may reflect ho jayega see when a member registers in the ia portal uh, this uh, innovation ambassador ka ye part hai na these are our registered innovation ambassadors right so a idhar import ho jayega you don't have to do anything at all the moment they register there they will get and it will also show whether they have completed the course what is the status everything will be shown on the iic portal itself are you getting me yes yes ma'am thank you yeah yeah so uh, these are all the things and next uh, activity is about nisp that is national innovation and startup policy now they are driving this to a very big uh, this thing this is the screenshot when you open the website www.nisp.mic.gov.in so here you are having a institute login page right so you have to uh, log in and give the uh, credentials uh you have to give the credentials when just one minute this is a login page so you will have head of the institute also one login is there for head of the institute and another login is for the nisp coordinator in our institute i am the nisp coordinator and therefore i have a separate login similarly head of the institute will have a separate login so here again you can register every college they have made it mandatory for every higher education institute to be uh, adopting the nisp policy now what is this nisp policy about again there is a, a two hour video by uh, deepen sahu from uh, the assistant director from uh, uh, ministry of education who has given full detailing about this national innovation startup policy now this national innovation startup policy has been in uh, started incept inception in the year 9 2019 and they have given a policy document if you go to nisp site you will see the ministry of education's policy document which will actually facilitate faculty members and students to work on their innovations and to have a startup of their own and also the policy will tell how the sharing should be whether the whole credit or the proper intellectual property should be in the name of the student the innovator or can the teacher and the innovator combine and have a policy how mentorship has to be given if a faculty wants to have a startup how many months of uh, sabbatical leave can be given and if a student wants can he break away from the system like that they have given a very huge document from which whatever is convenient for our institution for our own uh, setup 
we have to make our own policy or else the government of india is saying that adopt the same policy which has been given by the uh, ministry right so the ministry has given many or 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 conditions there so it is quite uh, uh, in the sense relevant for any educational institute for that matter so uh, uh, madam i suggest you make one national innovation startup policy coordinator in your college and okay. then let them read the document first and then whatever is suitable for them they can uh, adopt okay in our institute we have uh, just uh, mentioned what are all from a diploma institute perspective we have written but uh, engineering colleges will have a different outlook towards that so uh, then you have to register into this uh, nisp and this is what is very important today because unless you are a member of nisp uh, if you uh, see if uh, there is any uh, person who is involved with the uh, extension of approval of aict they are asking all these things as desirable parameters today so when they are asking are you a iic institute are there any in innovations are you having a if you say yes 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 you are getting extension of approval without any problem now today it is the desirable parameter and i am sure with the focus with which aict is pursuing this activity maybe in a couple of time uh, years this will be a mandatory thing in the extension of approval for aict so it is better to start early so have a coordinator and ask them to log in the moment you log in you will get a screen like this where there is a policy formulation policy implementation and policy impact creation these are the three things in the um, uh, inside the nisp portal so are you having a document have you uploaded are you having a committee as is your management ready with the nisp are all these have to be uploaded then your nisp that means it is a campaign that they are doing that means your whole institute your students should know about the startup policy so if you remember agashi madam during our uh, national conference uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have given this input to all the students who attended that conference yes uh, so in the same way there can be one session that can be arranged wherein we have to give this information that we are uh, interested in promoting startups within our organizations the faculty members also who wish to have their own startups can work and some uh, uh, you can decide what is the amount of uh, time that can be allocated for them should it be apart from the normal load or can some load can be adjusted all these uh, things have to be decided so this is regarding the nisp so Uh, whatever documents you are uploading immediately in the portal it will show that all these activities have been completed and once you complete that this will be reflecting in your aria portal okay so next i am showing in aria aria is what so based on see how they are slowly developing this innovation culture aria is atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievements so now it is mandatory for you to fill aria also and i think 31st august is the last day for registering for aria so if you have not done you please register and form filling ke liye they will give more time but 31st august is the last day for Fill, uh, registering for aria so again you should have a username password and other things and then login so you can uh, when you are registration uh, registering anywhere if you have not registered earlier go for new registration so here you just see uh, there is a new registration also you can register the moment you register and start filling you will find that 
it will ask is your iic council complete so that is how there is a ba uh, back compatibility also have you got a nisp policy have you displayed on the website have you done this so like that you have to that means you have to um, fulfill all these things to even fill your area okay so um, uh, so in this context again what are all the different uh, uh, infrastructure you are having for innovation to happen in your institute what is the budget allocation and then uh, Uh, what are all the act type of activities that you are doing all these things have to be put up in the this particular portal so it is divided into number of sections i think seven sections it uh, also asks for a in incubation center again i am uh, repeating this i think i have told this to ganesh dive sir also earlier incubation center does not means registration is compulsory if you are having a incubation center and if you have entered it in the uh, iic portal it will automatically reflect in a aria portal that you are having a incubation center now incubation center is just a place which where you will have certain facilities given to the student where you can mentor the students for uh, having some innovation activity or for, for a startup where you can invite some uh, legal expert you can invite some marketing expert suppose one batch of students are interested in pursuing a particular idea to a different level so they have to be given uh, some inputs uh, see uh, there are certain um, incubation centers uh, we have visited here in bombay even if some faculty members are interested in visiting you may please contact me i will arrange Uh, because i have got some good contacts in iit bombay also and also in uh, sardar patel institute of technology you visit that place then you will know what is the incubation center all about in the sense without seeing it is not believing right so such places uh, when i met the director of uh, sign that is a uh, incubation center in iit bombay she said it took 10 years initially 10 years for them to have a proper startup after the initiation of a incubation center so you can imagine that uh, for a institute like iit uh, with having a very huge alumnus potential they took 10 years to have one product coming out of their incubation center so it is not mandatory to register immediately you can just have a place demarcated uh, they are if you want a clear cut incubation center you have to have a separate building there are norms about 5000 square feet of uh, area that has to be <coughs> allocated for this but as we are starters we at least start thinking in that direction and students at least get to know that there is a place available for us wherein if there are electronic students you can have a cro or di digital multimeter and certain a computer because most of the things nowadays may be a ordinio board a raspberry pi or something like that wherein they can develop their own uh, prototype so basically you are giving a place for them laboratories don't become incubation centers so you can't say that this is a lab available for you why don't you do because it requires certain environment laboratory is a learning environment so uh, normally it is dominated by the teacher and the lab assistant the students are not given much opportunity to experiment whereas in an incubation center uh, they experiment with their own ideas Uh, so uh, please create one small space where they can do that uh, similarly each department uh, it need not be a separate place for each department a single place where multidisciplinary projects can also be done a very important aspect that is again focused by aict and the institute uh, moes uh, uh, Insti uh, innovation council is that 
encourage students to do multidisciplinary project because no project in the industry is brand specific all projects in the industry are almost multidisciplinary in nature so uh, as a beginning you can look at some one project wherein one member from each uh, uh, they can connect with each other and they are able to now you are having a in house program where students are in the hostel they can work any time of the day they can come in the evening and work also so like that you create an environment where things are open for them uh, so that when they get an idea when they get inspired they can come and work so uh, here uh, there will be a lot of questions in uh, regard to in aria there will be about uh, how many copyrights are there have you filed any patent i, I have how many uh, programs you have arranged uh, even uh, department wise they ask for what programs have been arranged and things like that so it is a huge document it takes lot of time to fill also our uh, vpm's polytechnics uh, vision and mission is with regard to the institution innovation council and uh, as far as innovation is concerned innovation need not be something new always it can be a new idea and you can do the same thing in a new way also it is already an idea that has been established and you can do that same idea in a different way which is better performing and having a better efficiency or you can have new methods so innovation is achieved by while implementation of an idea for a process or a product so future is going to be all about innovation may not be they are not working in a uh, uh, their own companies or starting their own enterprises but also organizations will insist that each person comes with some new idea and a new solution and as far as the hackathon sir have you registered for any hackathon this year sir you have conducted internal hackathon i am i am knowing that yes Right, but uh, we did not receive entries from the students. Okay. So this we have, we have started earlier now. Uh, sir, uh, persuasion खूप लागतं त्याला. कारण काय आहे मूल कंफर्ट झोन मध्ये असतात. मग त्या कंफर्ट झोन मधन बाहेर काढणं एक मोठा भाग असतो. त्यामुळे व्हॉट आय एम सेईंग यू लॉन्च द प्रोग्राम यू आस्क लेट देम सी इन आवर कॉलेज ऑल्सो इन द फर्स्ट इयर आय हॅड ओनली टू ग्रुप्स. then subsequently we had about 10 groups this year we had 24 groups so like that uh, the more and more students will get in uh, and then don't discourage any idea let them come at some stage if you find that the idea is not very good discourage them also because they should not spend too much time on a very bad idea okay so i am telling this uh, to all the faculty members who are actually dealing with students so when students are coming with ideas kindly encourage them to talk about it and consider that maybe it will work and always encourage students to be so problem solvers just learning concepts and uh, giving exams will not suffice in proof Uh, future i am sure even the training and placement officer there would know that to uh, nowadays for recruitment in uh, big companies they are putting up their problem statements in their website and asking the students to give solutions to those problem statements obviously students may not be able to give a full fledged solution but surely from the type of solution they give they get that orientation whether how the student thinks so which is a very important aspect so give them so always innovation will involve lot of hard work persistence perseverance and we have to encourage our students and give a very big hand holding for them uh, when they come out with such kind of ideas so i think i have given enough inputs if there are any questions you may please uh, shoot them yeah 
yes thank you very much madam uh, so yeah. uh, so far at our institute uh, we yeah. are working on uh, iic uh. Uh, we we are working also on area uh, area oh. smart india hackathon also last year so yeah. this year starting earlier uh, now uh, from 1st september when the next academic calendar starts uh, we will also be having innovation ambassadors and we will also register for nisp yes exactly sir because these are all going hand in hand you yeah, can't yeah. say i don't want this i will have this only it is not like that once you start iic you have to slowly um, uh, expand your wings yeah yes madam uh, i would like to know about uh, two more programs uh, yeah. I, i have heard about kapila that is yes. uh, related with uh, patent or something yes yes so, actually every year in the month of october abdul uh, our uh, uh, president of india dr abdul kalam uh, birth anniversary is on 15th october so that week is celebrated as kalam kapila is actually an expansion of uh, kalam uh, for intellectual property right or something like that kapila that is the expansion of that so activities related to patenting intellectual property right and also they also conduct certain online sessions so that we get sensitized towards that copyright uh, book writing and all those things and that program you have to do it in the month of october yeah and also we have this yukti sir yukti is something uh, like a repository uh, wherein uh, your students may have some ideas you may have some ideas faculty can have some ideas so you are actually creating a repository of all those ideas in your web portal itself and maybe later on those ideas can be picked up by the students and what is the status of that are they getting some um, funding seed funding from government or some agency all those details can be added as you uh, grow with that so this year what they have done is they have included it in the um, iic uh, portal itself so if your students are having any idea or anything so what i have uh, doing whatever hackathon idea has gone in the last 2 3 years i am going to add them as a online uh, repository for us so that maybe in the future see what happens maybe after 2 or 3 years there was a wonderful project i think guided by uh, agashi madam only on a third eye for a blind so uh, like electronically how to provide uh, eye to a bl blind kind of a project which got selected in the first round and uh, did not get maybe our students were very young they were not able to project their ideas properly it requires lot of training so that idea and all we will put it in the repository so that later on if those same students they want to pursue those ideas and make it into a business uh, model uh, we will be able to provide them with those inputs so in that context we will add those ideas uh, that time we had actually uploaded some five to six ideas for the innovation contest so all those ideas we will put it in the repository this year we have uploaded some 12 ideas for the hackathon Uh, we will put some a few more uh, in the repository so like that you have to create a um, repository of all the ideas that have been created in your own institute yeah uh, madam i would like to know more about uh, this national education alliance of technology neat courses for students so yes sir there is a uh, uh, that is these are online courses actually uh that is uh, suppose um, uh, an electronic student is there and uh, they are not having any course as it is on uh, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and things like that so parallelly they can register for such kind of courses in the net at you can register again there is a login for that and then register the student can also register and then uh, any courses offered there like you have the swayam also na sir swayam portal is there 
No, no, ma'am. Yes, yes. So, I am portal is there where uh, actually NPT was there earlier. That has been now merged with Swayam, and mm. there are number of uh, activities that number of courses that are being conducted by all centers of excellences like uh, various universities, IITs, NITs, and all. And any student who wants to have some additional knowledge, they can uh, learn in their own pace. Not uh, in a semester means within three years they are uh, three uh, months they are supposed to do submissions. They have to learn. They have to give a paper. It is not like that. They can learn at their own pace and then understand. So similar is the NEAT. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, madam. Uh, so Anyone? the platform is. Open for questions. Uh, faculty members can ask questions. Uh, very sorry for the intermittent glitch. Uh, some suddenly the one phase had gone out and there was no power in my cabin, so I had to shift my location. Sorry for that. No issue. No issue, madam. Okay. No issue. Uh, I want to ask one question. Yeah. Uh, now uh, the count for uh, any uh, if we are conducting any online session we are expecting about 50 to 60 for students and 7 to 8 of faculty members so these 50 to 60 students if sometimes uh, they are not available hmm. can we invite the students from other institutes and they can be part of it yes absolutely you see actually every uh, this thing that we upload uh, oh. there are external members internal members internal students external members so you yes. can ask uh, other members hmm. uh, but that will not create a ecosystem within your institute yeah you of course you, you will Just show so members all right but yeah. then we want ecosystem within the college to develop Right. So, uh, but uh, initially, if you call two, three um, outsiders, uh, maybe two, three meetings or outsiders, this will motivate the insiders. Ki, are bahar se log aare hai, hum kyun nahi attend karna right, right. That kind of environment will get created. So, um, and always, uh, sir, give them only 45 minutes. Don't give them one and a half hours, two hours. These sessions should be small capsules so that they let them think it is. Uh, you have to only sow the seed. It is for them to think and come further. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sir. And uh, for this, uh, regarding this funding. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, when uh, we are forming or uh, first is demarking the incubation center. And uh, then uh, what, what should be the uh, minimum architectural and uh, facilities uh, to be provided in incubation center? See, you demarcate a uh, location mm -hmm. where uh, some stable space will be given to each student. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever wants to work, not just student, even faculty can uh, sit and work. Mm -hmm. Wherein you should have internet facility for certain. Mm -hmm. uh, with computers, of course, mm -hmm. a computer you can uh, you can provide either laptops or if they are bringing their own laptops also no issues because many a time the data is very, very important for them. They would not want to uh, share it with anybody. Mm -hmm. So they can Internet facility is important. And if there are other branch students uh, like electronics or mechanical engineering, they may require some tools and other things for developing uh, some prototype. So mm -hmm. those tools should be there in the incubation center. Uh, that means they should not go in search of uh, se ye milega, kya milega ye. It should be handily available to them. And uh, all this should be at free of cost. Right. And uh, there can be only one place for all the departments. And yes, so yes it should be work. like that because uh, then they will see how people are thinking. It should be a common place only. So they get sharing of information from other teams also, so that uh, their own thinking process will change. Okay, but uh, if uh, sometimes we are having it along with the department, in the department uh, all labs are there, so uh, is it okay then, uh, or it is better to have only one center? Uh, uh, lab is only for... Um, Le this is yeah. what is the statement given by AICT ah. and MOU uh, or uh, Dr. J. Ray always says that 
lab is where uh, we make them do something mm. uh, they don't do something by themselves so okay. you have to allow them to experiment by themselves okay so create uh, means in delhi where to you have lot of space also it should not right. be a problem maybe you can convert one lab itself as a incubation okay. center mm. Uh, wherein students can go only when they want to work with some idea right uh, particularly when they do some uh, raspberry by pi based projects or something mm. they can go there and they want to do some collection of data or something like that again they can go there and work see it gives them that feeling that i am at a different place right. doing something very important that also makes a difference right any questions from uh, participants i hope i have not taken much of your time no no uh, very, very informative yeah and to the point yeah so i think uh, if there are no questions you can always post me questions sir anything if i am able to help you in any manner i will surely help you in whatever best uh, manner in which i can do okay and um, take it to a different level sir that is what is important uh, you have to see every year you ha you should have your own benchmarks so you say that first year i am going to do this next year i am going to have raise my own benchmark so in that way progress will happen Right. so thank you so much all of you for giving your value, value valuable time thank you agashi madam for inviting me and giving me an opportunity to uh, share my thoughts with all the faculty members there and i'm sure uh, i have been able to give the requisite information that you had asked for thank you so much yes uh, madam we are not going to leave you like that we will be again <laughs> approaching and uh, troubling you again and again uh, no. and uh, uh, it is not a trouble at all <laughs> <laughs> i know yeah okay yeah thank okay. you so much yeah thank you for the accepting yeah. the invitation and for a very good guidance yeah. in a very lucid language everybody ha has understood what yeah. now they are uh, the responsibility and the role they have to play now yes exactly yeah okay madam thank, thank you. you thank you dine uh, dive sir thank you yeah. thank you very much madam uh, yeah. thank you director dr kirti agashe vice principal mr abhinash pawar and all the faculty members for joining this session uh, thank you dr usha raghavan thank yeah, you very yeah thank much. you so much sir i will just um, leave the meet huh? yeah okay yeah thank you so um, uh, just to conclude for all uh, the faculty members present on uh, this dais uh, so we have got uh, sufficiently good uh, inputs from uh, dr usha raghavan and i think now uh, it is time to start with this all uh, background and everybody has to play his own role and let us uh, meet again and uh, then discuss on the new uh, formation of the committee and uh, uh, let us work together thank you i uh, wish you all a uh, very happy uh, shri krishna jayanti today uh, so who has always said that work work and work and uh, do your duties first so thank you all and have a good day